let's check where this road will lead me. It is nice to feel the freedom at least for a while. I managed to find another one, the road. It's a connection between the main road that I use going through the mountain, which is very good, enjoyable. And uh, provide a different perspective from Corsica. Good morning! I have to say that this camping was perfect. I slept well, I ate very well. I cannot complain at all. What time it is? 8 o'clock and I woke up at 7 o'clock. Which means that everything was just perfect. And I'm gonna start my trip to the north today. The plan is to have something like maximum 200 kilometers because the roads are very twisty and then spend another night in the area of Corte and on the next day ride another 150 to maximum 200 kilometers direction west to the port of Ayacho where I will got my ferry I got the ticket tickets already for Toulon France this is the plan for now I hope the coffee is open to get one espresso during my way north the first thing that I need to do is to find a petrol station and the guy from the coffee that I just stopped told me that there is a petrol station 20 minutes away on the road to Porto Vecchio which is not exactly on my direction, but I'm gonna take it first because after that on these small roads that I plan to ride uh, he said that he's not sure that there, there will be a petrol station this is the main road to Porto Vecchio and it is not bad at all but it cannot be compared with the road that I'm gonna take after that which is going straight into the mountains Is this Tenere the perfect choice for traveling? Well, for me it is, but it is for me. Many people say that there is not enough power with this engine. All right, they might be right. 73 or 4 horsepower are not enough for many people, but when you know the limitations of your motorcycle, you can work with it and you'll be all right. For example, I changed more gears and somehow this helps with the power and uh, what I like with it is that it is very flexible I can ride on these beautiful roads and then I can switch to the dirt roads and it will go just fine everywhere and that's why I like it that's why I think that for me this is maybe the best option but if you're only on the speed if you like to have the best power or the best source of power definitely not but to enjoy the trips to enjoy the ride you don't really need the power you need a good weather beautiful roads and a will to do it let me share this beautiful road and an interesting conclusion that i have made just a few minutes ago i think that uh, this scenery it's like a, like a Bulgarian. Never perfect, but work in many different spheres. Oh, these places are really beautiful. So clean and organized, sterile I will say.
too clean for my taste, but anyway, it's nice to see it. Now I came to this forest part and there is a big lake here on the left side and the temperature dropped to 21, it was 26 down there Nice It's interesting how the landscape changed every few kilometers from rocks to trees and then beautiful views, then beach, fantastic See, we change the landscape again. Ah, okay. Maybe this place will be alright. Do you have something? Ah, oh, everything here is perfect. If the prices were a little bit less, it would be even better, but it is what it is. A lot of tourists here, mostly Germans, people from Switzerland, and of course this raised the prices. See the pigs here. Interesting. This is Quenza. Very similar. They're all very similar. Yeah, I like it very much. There is no a real reason for me to ride fast here in uh, Corsica. First, because I have these two days to ride like 300 and maybe 400 kilometers maximum. If I ride fast, I won't see anything and I'll risk a lot because no matter what you do here on these roads, the average speed that you're gonna get constant speed will be like 40 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, you can get a little bit more, but then you have to, as I said, risk a lot, which is not the right way to do it if you ask me. But anyway, you have to have this in mind that here everything is happening very, very slowly. And you have to be on the same mood. Uh, spectacular views from here. I don't know, do these people really live here? I can see all the blinds of the windows are closed. Or these are just holiday homes. I have no idea. Let me stop here for a while to have the view. Ah, this is nice. Really nice. And now I have the spectacular views. Which is mean that I'm gonna slow down even more because I would like to see the things. Okay, change the direction again. After 350 meters. Here should be right, okay. Perfect picture everywhere. The first impressions that I've got from Corsica are of course very good. You have this wonderful endless twisty roads and wild nature everywhere. And it looks like a fantastic place to ride a motorcycle. It definitely is. But there are some things that you have to consider. For example, 
these are great roads to ride but after two days of riding on these twisty roads with 40-50 kilometers per hour it will be absolutely boring at least I will be and I would like to change this, the scenes to have something different uh, maybe to get some dirt roads and climb some of these beautiful hills to have just a different experience I mean normal dirt roads but I don't think that it will be even possible here because all the connections that I have seen were closed so it is probably forbidden looks like a very wild nature but at the same time it is so well maintained and cultivated uh, as I said there is no even possibility to go into the wild with a motorcycle or at least I haven't seen it so far I will definitely try it if I see it because as I said twisties are fine but after two days of twisties you honestly will be bored at least I will be and I will prefer to have a different experience but that's me come on come on my fat lady <laughs> ah, welcome to Corsica that's why I like long trips because uh, on every place you have something different you don't stick on one place for example I don't think that I will ever come here in Corsica to ride for one week or two weeks just to ride here no way I will always prefer to have a, a different uh, countries or different scenes every few days just because of this uh, of everything that I just told you This was the first possible road that I got out of the asphalt that was possible to climb without any warning signs that is forbidden, that is private road or at least I haven't seen any Alright, this was a nice moment Let's go back now before someone come to tell me that it is forbidden and I have to be charged and stuff like that it was here, right, yes, it was here the road I think I got lucky did not got any problems with authorities I saw the place, anyway, I'm ready to continue now Basically the distance between these towns and villages is around 20 to 30 kilometers which is mean that you have like half an hour right before you see something or a little bit more depends on the situation this now looks more or less like uh, the mountains in uh, Bulgaria same type of trees and rocks the poor life of the peak huh? it is one o'clock and I already did 140 kilometers from 200 for today so I think that it is a time to make another stop and stay it for at least one hour because otherwise it will be too early when I finished and uh, there is no reason to write more because tomorrow I will have even less than what I'm gonna do all day tomorrow so better is to do it in very slow and relaxable way instead of pushing myself to the limits with no reason wow this looks like a big town so this will be 
the place I'm gonna stop now this is the name I don't know Odeva if something is open of course all right here I can see one coffee open that's it I'm gonna stop because I don't know about that later let's continue now uphill again check what is the elevation here see the road nice okay, here is 700 meters that means on the top was probably around 8 900 Let's check where this road will lead me. It is nice to feel the freedom at least for a while I managed to find another one the road it's a connection between the main road that I use going through the mountain which is very good enjoyable and uh, provide a different perspective from Corsica And it looks like from here I'll be able to make the connection yes again okay let's go to make the connection all right this is the main road to Corte alternative roads are going to west or to east so this is the road that I'm gonna use for the next 22 kilometers and then I'm gonna switch again to this back roads when I said the main roads it doesn't mean that it will be a highway oh it is a straight road oh it is a wonderful road from the motorcycle point of view it is just different from what I have seen so far this is the wider road that I have seen so far three lanes because I still have time I pull over from the main road to see a small town named Riventosa something similar this one I'll make one stop here as well find some place next to the church relax a bit okay so I need to go around and go from rear side climb a hill 
to be able to come to this place all right nice nice view over the church but no place to stop here no place oh man no no cafes no restaurants all right looks like it is not ah there is one okay Right. Hi. Is this a coffee or? No. no. Ah, okay. You can find the coffee on the place. Down? Down. Thank you. But I don't know. I'm not sure it's open at, at this time. It's closed. I think it will open uh, maybe at 5 uh, ah, Okay. Mm. Maybe. maybe. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, welcome to France. <laughs> they will open at 5 o'clock. It's already Corte. I just filled the tank 7 liters for 200 kilometers. Nice. Uh, I found the one camping very close to this town. I'm gonna check it now and maybe I will need to come back here in the town to buy some things It is much bigger compared to everything that I have seen so far Mission completed, I even got some products from the supermarket Excellent, now I can go to the camp If they have a place to eat, good, if they don't have it, at least I will have something uh, Let me see now where the road was now I have to find a, a good spot. They've got all facilities here. They even got a bar, so should be all right. Let me see where, where, where. Maybe there. So this will be my place. Now I'm gonna open the tent, undress, and go to walk and see this beautiful old town on the rocks. Alright, the camp is set, everything is done, I'm dressed, so I'm ready to go and check the old town over there, what time it is, half past four, just on time, I can relax properly, later when I come back I'm gonna get a shower, have something to eat and tomorrow we'll continue. Over there on the hill is the old town that I would like to visit. There will be a little bit of climbing, but that's fine. This is the old part of Corte. I'm gonna walk a little bit more up to see the buildings over there. Many restaurants here. Tiny streets, old facades and the church. I've got the castle on the top the whole town this is the bridge that I took the first picture and over there is the campground that motorcycle is and the rest beautiful green hills really nice location I think that this is enough for today. I'm gonna step down, chill a bit, walk a bit, relax a bit, and tomorrow continue.